Hello world of YouTube and welcome back to the Let's Play of Pokemon Leaf Green Avatar Challenge. When we last left off, we got a face planted out of the gate a little bit. Um, I started off my adventure by losing to my rival twice and catching a Pokemon I wasn't legally allowed to have because of my nation. As you guys may have, if you guys didn't catch the last episode, I am playing as a part of the Water Tribe because I, or the Water Nation, because I uh, wanted to play as Bulbasaur because it's my best friend's favorite Pokemon. Um, and the Pokemon that this tribe can use are, um, not that image, are Water, Ice, Grass, and Poison. And normal, if it has anything as a second type for that. But, I've been trying to avoid catching Rattata because I don't like Rattata, Rattata. Um, I don't know I said I'd cut out, uh, random encounters, but I am looking for something that I can use within this field of... And Pokemon. Okay, run away. No! 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 Why? Oh my god! What is up with this? Ah! Oh. Okay. Let's try this again. I'm gonna grab some potions. <laughs> How much money do I have? <laughs> this is terrible. Uh, rack. All right, I have two thousand dollars, almost three thousand dollars. Let's go to the Pokemart. I might as well catch a Rattata because I'm, I'm ra ra Rattatas are kicking my ass now. Yeah, buy potion. Uh, buy this many. Six, sure. Let's go, because this pissed me off. <sighs> okay, let's move to the left. I wanted to get an Inaran. I think female is in this game. Oh wait, there's a there's a ball up here that I can get something out of. So I'm gonna oh I'm gonna grab this. I found a potion for free. Dope freshness. Uh. Gonna catch me some. Mankey! I can't use Mankey, can I? Cause it's not a type I can use. But I can fight it. Fight it for some experience. Hey, keep using Leer. Make my attack fall, my defense fall. So I didn't want to keep a manky. I learned Leech Seed. Good. Now I cannot die. <laughs> Leech Seed's a good move to have. Me all you want, let my defense fall. Come on, Nidoran female. Nidoran female or male. Either is fine, because both are acceptable. They're a poison type. Screw it. I'm running. I don't want to fight. Let's just keep going. Keep going up to Route 2. Because it's turning into training. Which 
I don't mind, but I didn't want to record any training. Training was happening off screen, as I mentioned in episode one. Let's see if I can find something. I don't want a Rattata. Quit shoving your Rattatas down my throat. Come on, shake. Kill it. Kill the Rattata. I may have to go into the to the forest and catch something because I'm not finding anything that I want here. It's gonna be awesome when I get to water Pokemon because I can catch water Pokemon. I'm level eight now. Can't have a Pidgey. So I'm a leech seed it. You know what I may do? I may uh I may start using uh, uh not start using, but I may go fight my rival after this because I'm gonna be kinda stronger. And Fight ya. All right, let me go fight. Let me go fight my rival. I know I keep impeding my progress, but but I keep trying to do stuff that's not happening. Again, I'm just kind of continuing to stumble around. I'm not trying to. I'm not trying to impede my progress, but it's happening. See if he's even up here. Don't eh. Cause I am the Pokemon guy Gonna kick your damn ass Leech Seed is my move It is my move, it is my move, it is my move, it is my move Gonna suck all your life from you Let's just start tackling. Tackling like a madman. And leeching like a madman because I can. Leeching like a madman because I can. Leeching like a madman because I can. I probably should have picked up another Pokemon, but you know what? I think, I think, I think Shake can do this. Shake, you can do this, Shake. You can clutch this. Level 9 Shake. He's gonna pull out Charmander. I'm gonna kick Charmander's ass. Leech Seed. Shit. Leech Seed. I'm also gonna Potion. Not Pokeball. I can't catch this Pokemon. Nope. There you go. Now I can just keep sucking your life, Charmander. I can see why you like this Pokemon, Shake. It's pretty, pretty... No, I didn't mean to do that. It's pretty spanking. Tackle. Oh no, I only have 17 tackles. It's not like a- oh shit, I'm missing attacks now. I 
Alright, at least I have Leech Seed going to continuously suck his life from him. Tackle de tackle de tack, tackle de tackle de tack, tackle 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 to tackle tackle de tack tack. Die, Charmander. Die, Charmander. Your Leech Seed is what's winning this battle shake. You won, buddy! You kicked Charmander's ass! You kicked my favorite Pokemon! My favorite starter Pokemon in this generation's ass! And you got fine with as a result! Cool. Level 10 now. Da -da 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 -da, you're a guy who's gonna lose when I keep fighting you! Alright, we're trying to pick up here. So let's. Let's try and find ourselves an Nidoran female, or male, whichever's in this game. I don't want Mankey. I don't want Mankey. Vine Whip. Damn. Vine Whip be strong. Okay, so I was looking at the, uh, I was looking at Bulbapedia, and Nidoran female, or male, was removed from this game. Uh, on this route. So, I'm gonna keep going. Uh, I'm gonna go further north and see where uh, where this journey is gonna take us. And my process of wanting to speed up this streamline this experience has been cut because uh, I've spent two and a half parts, or basically a part, not a part and a half, two, two and a half, but a part and a half in the same starting area. So let's keep going. Let's move on to the Viridian Forest, which we'll clear out in this episode, and, uh, and, eh, get to the next city, and then we'll probably call it an episode there. Now, I don't think there's anything I can actually catch here, because, um, it's all bug Pokemon, sands, um, sands. What's it called? Um, uh, uh, friggin'. I don't even know what I was talking about. I can't catch anything in this place. Because it's, it's, it's a forest. Pikachu! I can't catch Pikachu. As much as I want a damn Pikachu, I can't catch it because it's electric and that's Fire Nation. But I can kick its butt! Does Weedle turn into a poison type? If it does, I can catch a Weedle. You see, it starts off as a bug type. I know that much. Can't catch Caterpie. Oh, it's a bug poison. I can catch. I can catch friggin'. Uh, Weedle. I'm gonna catch Weedle. The next Weedle I see, I'm gonna catch. Uh, I'm gonna run. I caught a Caterpie, I know. It was my bad. It was my mistake. Because that doesn't turn into a poison type. But Weedle does. And now I know. And knowing is half the battle. I can't catch a Caterpie. I am gonna start cutting out the random encounters, as you just saw, because... It's already starting to break up the flow, and I want to expedite this episode a bit, or make this episode a bit more accessible, not accessible, what's the word I'm looking for? A bit more streamlined, I want to make it a bit more flow a bit better, you know? Kind of like Cthulhu Saves the World was starting to get by the uh, time I was done with an area. And most of the Pokemon I've already caught before, so... No! I wanted a Weedle. Something new. So uh, Shake's not alone. Let's 
so that Shake isn't fighting these battles by himself. Because he's going to get a bit OP at this point, if he's the only Pokemon I have. So I'm going to be searching the woods for something for him. And I found another Weedle. I'm going to do some whipping. Because if I tackle it, it's going to die. Because he's already super strong in comparison to everything else in the forest. Uh, Vine Whip. Oh, don't poison sting me. Vine Whip. Vine Whip. Don't string shot me. Let me try and poke him. Let me try and catch him already. Bag. Not potion. Pokeball. Go up. Two, three, yeah! Yes! I caught a Weedle, and it's a girl Weedle. I don't know what I'm gonna name this Weedle because it's a girl Weedle. But give me one second. All right, so I'm back in the forest. I put uh, Hotaru in the front, and I believe you're a trainer. No, you're not. You're telling me there's an item in the grass. Probably it's a potion. So let's keep moving along. Potion, 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 potion. There's a battle right here. Now I'm not gonna cut out trainer battles in an area because I'm probably gonna go through all the trainers in an area before I train in it. So this will be kind of the sort of training that you see, uh, this side of things. Um, and I'm gonna switch to Shake Pool. I'm gonna battle. I'm gonna train Hutaru like this just because Hutaru is a level four. And Shake is a level 10. So Shake can kind of share the experience for a little while. Now, if you're wondering if I'm going to grab a Magikarp because I can, I'm can, i the Water Tribe, hell yes. Uh, there's a lot of Pokemon I don't normally use that I, I'm going to use in this LP, like Bellsprout and stuff, but I am going to be using a freaking Magikarp. I love Gyarados. So that's going to happen. Plus, it is going to make it a little bit harder on myself because I am using... Uh, Magikarp, and Magikarp is useless. Otaru gain 33, Shake gain 33. Caterpie, will I switch? Yes. Otaru! Now, I do have friends that are girls, but I don't think any of them would want to be named after a Weedle, so that's why I kind of picked its own name. Like, I kind of picked a name like this. Shift. Shift a little. Shift already. You know, one time I actually tried to mash this up back when I did this, the night that I did mashups, the one night that I became a mashup artist. I tried to mash this up with uh, Bombs Over Baghdad. It didn't work very well. I thought it would, but it didn't. I'll cast Bond for Baghdad, by the way. If you weren't a rap aficionado. Otaro grew to level 5! And the Shake Pool grew to level 11! He's getting really strong. Bug Catcher Rick. Alright, let's... Let's go up here. Because I'm trying to avoid wild battles. Wild or random encounters. Because I've already done a lot of this episode that I've been cutting out. Da, 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 da. We have Bugcatcher Doug. We fought Rick, by the way. And we kicked Rick's axe. And now we're going to kick this Doug's ass. Oh, my capture card's just lagging behind. I'm sorry about that. I'm already in another battle while you guys are catching up. I should have paid more attention to that. Uh, there you go. Doug. Doug sent out a Weedle. And Hotaru, Poison Sting. And your String Shot. And... My speed fell, and I'm going to wait for it to catch up. And it is still chugging. I don't know why this is happening. It did the same thing with Fez, and now it's doing it with this game. Come on. Catch up. Speed fell. I'm back up to speed now. Yep. Okay, good. And... Go ahead and sting me. Tackle. There you go. 
of experience. You can send out Weedle. Will I change? Yes. Mutaru. I really don't know why this is happening. I'm going to try and fix that next episode. Pokemon. Mutaru, that's enough. Come back. What's this thing? Poisoning doesn't do a whole lot to, to Bulbasaur, because Bulbasaur is kind of a poison type. I think he's part poison. No, I think he's grass, and then Ivysaur is part poison. I'm pretty sure. Weedle's dead. Kakuna. Now I can actually use Hotaru for this, because Kakuna just a hardened fiend. Loves himself some harden. Poison stings. Oh god, but that's gonna take forever. So you know what? Nope. Pokemon. I'm just gonna shake cool. I'll be the first LP that has this much glitching in it because of my capture card at least. Because oh my god, this is bad. I don't know why this is happening. If anyone has any tips for me as to how to fix this, please let me know. Because... I Actually, I think I know what it might be. And... This may alleviate some problems. And maybe my RAM. Maybe a RAM issue. So I'm closing up some stuff I have open. Seeing if it helps at all. It has a little bit. Yeah, that could have been it. That could have been it. I think that was it. Hotaru went to level 6, by the way. Alright, so let's keep going. Let's grab this item. It's an antidote. Let's go up here. What's up here? I think there's something up here. Yeah, there's, a, there's a guy which I technically don't have to battle. Avoid you. And let's go down. Some forced random encounters. Unless I miss them. Cool with that. Oh, nope, there's one right here. Alright, so let's keep going. Just gonna battle right there. I'll fight him for. Yeah, because we're almost out of this place, and I gotta just be cutting around, so yeah. Bug catcher Charlie. He's got a metapod. I think Poison Sting is still good against him. Because he's good against Caterpies. Yeah, it's good. He's just going to hard, so... Hopefully I poison him. So I can show you status of ailments. Because I haven't done that yet. I fought a Caterpie with Otaru, by the way. That's why he has 9 health. But it'll be fine against this Metapod. He's poisoned now. Oh, crap. I forgot that they, had, they have that in this game. Like the Shed Skin stuff. I forgot about that. You know what? I'm just going to keep fighting him anyway. Because I want to keep him in the game. Because he evolves, I think, at level 7. So, um, I'll be able to show you guys an evolution. And I just showed you a status animal. With poison, uh, you lose health typically throughout the battle. Um, and as you walk in the outside world as well, out of the battle... Because there's some status ailments that work like that. Poison sting. The pot was poisoned. His defense won't go any higher, but he's hurt by the poison. Oh, it didn't shed skin again. I just realized that. Huh, that's good. And I'm level 7. Which is dope. Dope, dope freshness. Nope, I don't want to change. Poison stink to ass. Again. Oh. String shot slows down my capture card a lot. So I'm gonna let it catch up. String shotting slowly. It's gonna zap up to the electrical field thing. And it's gonna cut to my Yep, there you go. I don't know why it does that weird. 
It's like with Contra. I don't know why Contra made it flicker like freaking crazy, but it did. Quit using string shots. You're slowing up my capture card. And I don't want to have to sit here and wait for it every single time. And then... Cut to my poison tree. There, there you go. Oh, God. That's bad. Still in it, though. Bag. Potion. Potion, my baby. Potion, my... Potion, my Hotaru. Attack me. I don't care. I don't care if you tackle me. I'm gonna sting you again. Quit using string shot! Damn it! Ugh. I hate you, Caterpie. You're evil. I'm literally two turns ahead now. I'm literally a turn ahead now. Alright. Wait for the string shot to go. And gonna wrap around again and all that stuff. I'm glad there's no bug gym. In there. Oh wait, there is a bug gym. Oh god. I don't think any of his bugs use uh, string shots, so I think I'll be fine. There you go. Nope, he's gonna use it again. Well, hopefully this battle will be over by the time I finish this. Alright, I just killed his Caterpie on my screen. You guys are still catching up. Again, if you have any way to alleviate this, please help me. Please let me know. So we don't have this going on a lot. But I kill it, I kill it with this poison sting. It's gonna go zoop, and it's dead. Caterpie fainted. I gained 79 experience. So I haven't got it yet. He's gonna stand on the metapod. So I'm not gonna change. I can just string shot or I can poison string it to death. Well, at least I have 14, so that should kill it. But if it doesn't, you'll see me, you know, not killing with this, but with Bulbasaur. Harden again. Hardening is fun. Quit hardening, dude. Your defense is... Your defense is not that important. You're gonna die anyway. And what I think is funny is that he said he evolved his Pokemon. So he has Caterpie's moves. Because when, when you level up and evolve... You don't lose your moves. If you never play Pokemon before, that's not how it works. So, I don't get why this is happening. You know? It's weird. It's really weird. He's hurt by the poison, because he can shed his skin again. And I'm gonna win. At least, at least you got to see Hotaru fight an entire battle now kick his team's ass. I'm level 8 now. I'll group 2 levels in that fight. I defeated Charlie. Oh, I lost. I hope to god this evolution screen does not chug as much as I'm thinking it might. Oh, yeah, it is. Oh, delightful. Um. Well, he's flickering a lot and he's evolving. And he's gonna change into what you'll see in a minute. Which I'm wondering if the audio... I'm pretty sure the audio is advanced already, so... Uh, you'll see it in a minute, but he's ch changing slowly, surely, slowly, surely. What's he going into? What's happening? What's changing? Oh my god, it's a huge build-up! What's happening? Oh my god, it's going crazy now! What's gonna happen? This is insane! And it swirls together to reveal that I've evolved into a Kakuna! Which you've already heard us cry if the audio stays the same. But, uh, I have, congratulations, your Kotaru has evolved into Kakuna. So that's what happens. And I'm back in the woods and I'm walking. <coughs> My capture card's officially just died. I'm in a whole other battle at this point. <laughs> I'll be cutting around this, but this is amazing. Run away. Oh my god. Come on, capture card, catch up with us. I'm already past that battle. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm in another trainer battle at this point. Oh, it's cut to it. Oh my god, that was beautiful. Throw out your Weedle. I don't care. Why would you avoid evolving into a Hotaru? I'm just gonna bring out the big boy. Big boy, Shake Pool. Ah. Uh... 
Ah. And I'm out. I'm out of the forest. Sweet. Let's walk through this door and enter Route 2, which leads to Pewter City. We're in Pewter City. New city. There's stuff going on. Um, but we're going to call it an episode here. Come back when we explore Pewter City. And I'll train some of my Pokemon up, Pokemon up a little bit more. Hopefully you guys are still enjoying this Let's Play. I'm sorry for the random issues that are happening. But if you have any way to help me, please let me know. I've been Valor Rack. You guys are getting a lot of situations. I'll see you next week.